We are back with Cindy Moran Smith. Uh, we had a wonderful time with her last time. She is a consistently queen of sales. She has really unique and fun, interesting strategies for increasing her sales. Every time she starts telling me about, you know, this is what I do. It's not just this is what I do. She does so many bells and whistles and, and special things. And she's, her brain just works on a different level because <laughs> she thinks through so many ways to keep the customers coming back and to encourage them to perhaps upsell or, you know, add something for their daughter. And it's just really amazing. So everything that comes out of her mouth is gold. So make sure that you've got pen and paper. It is being recorded. You can watch it later. But um, you definitely want to grab everything. So this is Cindy Moran Smith. And today we're going to talk about her Merry Mondays. This is part of her holiday selling season strategies. So Cindy, just explain like what, what that means to you. Like what, what is a Merry Monday? Okay. I, um, I guess it was sometime last year. I heard somebody else talking about they were doing like Merry Monday, Friday faves. And I thought, you know, that would be good for the holidays. And so I just said, well, you know what? I'm just going to set it up and do it and we'll see how it goes. And it turned out, you know, pretty good. And I really kind of didn't know what I was doing last year. So I changed it up a little bit this year. So every week on Monday evenings, about 730, I would go live in my customer VIP group. And about 15 to 20 minutes, and you're just kind of chit-chatting with them. You let them know, well, now this is what I do, but you can set it up however you want to. I do an on-time drawing. Nice. And so when I wait till about 7.35 to see who all is on there, and they have to comment in order for their name to be put in the drawing. Now, when we talk about a giveaway, we may be just talking about a sample mascara. I'll kind of tell y'all what I did Monday night for my first one. And it may be a couple of eyeshadow samples and a little extra something special. And so okay. somebody wins that. And this year I changed it. Whoever wins, then they can nominate a friend or family member of theirs to win the same goodie packet. Hmm, that's so cool. Possibly that would be someone that I don't know or right. someone new. And with their little goody packet, of course, they will receive a catalog. Wow. And so they really liked that. Mm -hmm. And so each week I would, in the you know process of talking, I would feature like a gift for the holidays, like either for Christmas or maybe, you know, something if they were going to a fall activity or when they would be going to Thanksgiving dinner. I would already have one thing made and show them and tell them about it. Sometimes I would get orders for that. And then sometimes I would not. And, okay. But it's okay because those were things that I would have for my virtual open house. And so they would already kind of be thinking, you know, mm -hmm. okay, going to have this or that. And mm -hmm. so I did the Merry Monday all the way up till probably sometime in December. And so they loved it and they would join in and then they have till midnight, you know, to go back and view it and watch. And after midnight, I turn the commenting off. Okay. But for them to be in the drawing, they have to be on there on time. And I have a pen and paper right beside me. And as they're coming on saying hello, I jot their names down. Very cool. Yeah. Speaking of and comments, I'm thinking, how is there a way for us to see Facebook comments when we're on Zoom? I don't think so. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we'll just have to go back and look. Yeah, we'll go back. <laughs> so whatever you're saying, because I can already see over here, I can see people are, are commenting, but uh, we'll we'll answer you. <laughs> we <Okay>. promise. <laughs> so you start, uh, so you already started last week. So you start early September, you go through the holidays. Uh what I love already is that uh, the fact that you're kind of showcasing, you're previewing these different things. So whether they get it that Monday or not, they could always rewatch it probably. And then, okay. you know, ask for it later. But then also, like you said, when they, you know, go to your virtual open house, they're already familiar with the different options. So do you discount the, the stuff or like what, what kind of price point, you know, what, what usually are you offering? Okay, so Monday, 
what I did because it's not really October yet, but to kick us into October, my first one, which was Monday night, I did mascara a thon, like mass okay a thon. Mm-hmm. So I had all of the mascaras and I showed them all of the mascaras, you know, that we have. And I said, so this is something to you that I'm going to do. And I'm going to start a mascara club. And so you can sign up tonight. I said, this will be a good quarter to sign up. So we'll be October, November, December. You'll get your first mascara. And I said, after this quarter, I will automatically contact you for your new mascara for the next quarter. So then I went in and explained to them how it's um, been proven with ophthalmologist and hygiene purposes that you are supposed to change your mascara every three months Mm -hmm. and so I held up my tube that I used and I said you know a lot of people will pump the wand you're not supposed to do that because it creates air pockets in the tube which then can set up bacteria which then would get on your eyes Mm -hmm. so I showed them how they should twirl it and um, I said so this is why you're supposed to change out your mascara basically every quarter so Mm -hmm. I told them the months it would be you buy three you sign up you do it three your fourth quarter you're getting your mascara free that's I was just thinking that 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 would be a a good thing to do so you're not necessarily having the merry mondays be like christmas themed it's just it's holidays it's like the whole Mm -hmm. like halloween thanksgiving christmas okay awesome uh, I always have to throw in a few things. <laughs> so, I hear it. so are you hearing that, you know, when she gives a prize, she's always thinking full circle, next step. Okay. And that's what I always tell my team is like, what is the next logical place that you want to take somebody? So she's giving a prize to a, an existing customer and to expand that she's saying, now you get to gift somebody else, one of these, or you get an opportunity to, you know, nominate them and and put them in a drawing or or however you want to do it. But that is a very low key, non spammy way of getting more referrals. And if she does that week in and week out from now until Christmas, and if every one of those referrals is a quality customer, you know, that's better than getting 10 so-so referrals at a party. You know what I mean? It's like, that's almost a guaranteed customer. You know, if I love my consultant and I'm going to suggest someone in my life for her to send the same package to, it's going to be somebody that I'm pretty sure would really appreciate it. You know what I mean? So that is a quality referral. The mascara thing, again, she's not thinking like, hey, uh, all right, and I'm not making fun of anybody. (laughs) But like, instead of going on and saying, hey, you know, here's mascara, buy two, get one free, or hey, mascara, 15% off. She's saying, this is all, these are the benefits of mascara. These are some tips about mascara. She's serving them with value. And then she's saying, let's sign you up to consistently purchase it. And when you buy three, the fourth one is free they become a long-term customer. They become, you know, used to getting a package from her consistently. She just, you know, tripled her sales, even though she's going to give one away. She's not giving the first one away. She's given the fourth one away. So by then they're going to be so in love with it. You know, they're going to buy the fifth one. You know what I mean? So it's, you've got to always be thinking long-term, you know, next step. How does this all play into obtaining customers for life. That's the thing is that you want customers for life, not just for today. And that's when you'd have these pop-up sales with discounts, that's a today sale. That's not a forever sale. Uh So um, one thought that I had, Cindy, is how many people like are on your PCP list and in your group, like what kind of crowd are we talking to? for you? I have about 220 something in my VIP group. There are some there that have never made the purchase, but they're Uh watching. Um, I had about probably 22 maybe, um, that had viewed Monday night within, you know, 30 minutes. So I had eight people sign up for the mascara club. 
So they will all be ordering their mascara by October 1st because mm-hmm. they, I said, look, we've all got to be on the same schedule, you mm-hmm. know? And I said, this way you'll get your, I'll notify you. Hey, it's mascara time. I invoice you. I order the mascara and I get it to you. It's, it's pretty much that simple. So yep. this is what the prize. And I'm after I finish oh, this with you today, I'm going in the VIP group to announce the winner because I was trying to give everybody time. So mm-hmm. this is the new eye makeup remover. So cute. And then they get the card, of course, that tells about it. They're getting a mascara for, you know, a little sample. They're getting a couple of eyeshadow uh, samples. And then the cards that I put in my beauty packages about the brow, mm-hmm. they're getting that. And of course, it says, I think you're fabulous so cute so then so their, cute. their friend will get the same thing and then I have this card that I will write a note on it says you are strong brave bold fun unique kind smart imaginative adventurous amazing and thoughtful so I will write a note on the back of it saying your friend Brandy Mm-hmm. you know um wanted to bless you with this little blessing packet from you know and I'll put whatever and then I'll probably put a little coupon in here mm-hmm. because I want them to call me <laughs> yep and everything's so, flat in there right or are they getting the little oil free and makeup makeup. oh they are getting that too nice okay yeah. and then they'll get the catalog. <laughs> it's what so they'll get a catalog too yep the okay. friend get a catalog okay. So Cindy, so, when you're purchasing like the, the stickers and the cards and the, you know, the cello bags and that, do you feel like you still are making a profit or do you, you know, it's such a slippery slope, you know what I mean? Like you can just really get into all the foo-foo and end up spending all your profit on that. Like, do you have a philosophy about that? Do you limit how much you spend or or how do you handle that? Um, well, I tell you. I order from Court of Achievers and I order from Creative Sprinkles a okay. lot. Court of Achievers. I don't think we talked about that one before. So I'll have to look that I, one up. They have a little clearance section. Oh, nice. That's my style. <laughs> I go straight to the clearance. <laughs> yeah, and I, got, um, I was looking to see if I had one to show y'all. They had a sticker and it was a hundred and a pack. Wow. And they were trying to get rid of them because. When they were printed, they had one little, it's not even noticeable, mm-hmm. a little smudge. Mm-hmm. Nice. I got all those for $1.99. Oh my gosh. And you know, I used to think printing your own stickers would be cheaper. It really uh, isn't because uh-uh. the, those sticker <laughs> papers, whatever, are expensive. And sometimes the ink doesn't stick on there right. And it just ends up looking really yucky and you don't, you know, throw it away. So, um, so that's all very good. Um, I wanted to point out too, that, uh, a lot of times I have friends in Mary Kay that have like, or, or any direct sales, this, a lot of these can be applied. The concepts can be applied to any direct sales, but, uh, you know, they'll have like 30 people in their private group. And it's the same 30 people they had last year and the year before and the year before that, And they're wondering why they're not getting significant sales. And the thing is, when you're dealing with social media, you need to work the numbers. Like you need to have a lot of people. Michelle Cunningham says that you won't have consistent activity in a private group until you have a thousand members. So think big. Think always expanding, constantly inviting people in. Uh, that little group of 30, it's sort of like when you belong to a little church and you get asked every single week to do the cleanup. You know, you get tired of being asked to do the cleanup. <laughs> you need like a big group of people so that everybody, you know, can share, <laughs> share the opportunity. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. I think that we're expecting too much out of our tiny private group. And then we conclude that Facebook doesn't work or you're not doing it right. But you just, you have to keep bringing people in and fresh people keep it alive. You know, when you get a new person that just fell in love with Mary Kay and they're posting, you know, a selfie or they're saying, oh, thanks for the package you just sent. That keeps, you know, like everything fresh in your group. Um, So let's see. 
you did like the mascara thon. What are some other ideas that you have coming up uh, for those that struggle with <laughs> creative okay. ideas? I'm not super creative. <laughs> okay. Well, I was going to tell you this too. So I had just gotten my order in um, like maybe two hours before the live. Mm-hmm. So I had the new liquid eyeshadows. Oh, so when I came on, I like get them out. I'm like, hey, y'all, look, here's the new liquid eyeshadows. And I said, um, I'll do one eye for y'all and show y'all because I'm not a big makeup person. Right. So I did the um, new one that's called champagne. That's the one I have. So I did like rose gold and champagne with it, you know, and I was showing it to them. Well, then as they're talking and commenting, they're like, oh, we want to see that rose, that that dark color and I was like mm-hmm. y'all really want me to put this on my eyes yes 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 so I mean I That's did it great. and um so they love that so when I got done with them I took a couple of like photos went to my Instagram mm-hmm. tweaked them up a little and then I shared those last night one last night and one this morning and I said hey mm-hmm. here's the shots yes I have two different eyes <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted and I did it for you. So one of the ladies that signed up for the mascara club, she bought mascara. She bought all three liquid eyeshadows. Oh my gosh. Um, and she bought something else. Oh, the lip gloss I had on. Cause I did. Share oh a lip my gosh. Gloss. So mm-hmm. that was yep. worth my 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. For sure. Yeah. It pays to wear, wear your, your stuff, <laughs> you know, wear your product. And, you know, cause people do ask frequently, well, what is that eyeshadow? You know, what do you have on your lips? Oh my gosh. I love everything about that. Um, as you were talking, okay. I had a, a genius thing to say, but of course it's, uh, I have a <laughs> new puppy. So I get like about two hours of sleep <laughs> at night. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. So talking, oh, I know what it was. Um, you can talk about a product over and over and over and post the beautiful pictures from the company. Uh, you can even offer a, a discount and people don't get excited until they see you put it on. Yeah. It makes such a difference. I can't stress it enough. I did that with the Ruby lipstick. I think maybe it was that two years ago. Mm-hmm. And I just, it was just, I just put it on. And I just would sell, 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 sell. It was crazy. And I did that on Instagram and Facebook. I'm not a, I'm not super successful on Instagram, but that one was, I got several customers from my Instagram followers, just from that one simple thing. You know, they want to see what it looks like on a real human. What is Mm -hmm. it, you know, and when you watch somebody put something on, you almost can feel it vicariously. You know, you can see if it went on smooth, you can see how thick it is or how much color payoff there is. You can't see that in a photo of just, you know, here it is, here it is in the tube. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a totally different experience. And before I forget, because, you know, my brain, (laughs) I'm struggling. Um, Don't forget the consistency on social media pays off. So she's saying every Monday, 730, Mm -hmm. they know that there's an on-time drawing. They are rewarded for remembering and being there on time. When they see the cute little bag that somebody got last week, they're going to want to be on time this week. And that's going to grow. When you are sporadic, when you go live on a Tuesday at two, and then you don't do anything for three weeks, and then for you know four days in a row, you go live, but it's all different times of day, you don't grow your audience because nobody knows where you are or when you're going to be there. But when it's super consistent, and it doesn't, you know, you don't have 20 some people watching the very first time, you know, Cindy has had to do this and do this and do this. And now it's growing, growing, growing. And I think another thing that, um, you know, people say, well, I went live, it didn't work. I'm, I'm intimidated to go live. You have to commit and you have to be consistent. And so I think when you, when you put it out there, like you say, friends, I'm going to come on live every Monday from now until Christmas at seven 30, it, it puts you in a spot, you know, it's like, you have to then follow through and be a woman of your word and do what you just said, but it's worth it because that, that crowd just grows, you know? Um, so anyway, anything that you've been thinking you want to say, cause I've been interrupting you. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. Uh, I was going to say too, that I try to 
like um like I had on fall colors Monday night Mm -hmm. and then whatever I'm doing that particular week I try to you know wear something that coincides and then when it starts getting a little like I got these at Dollar Tree like when it gets Christmas I wear these little funky headbands Mm -hmm. this one has lights on it and it oh my gosh um let me show you I don't know if it'll yes (laughs) yeah I think I'm gonna have to get me a new one this year this one's about had it I've had this one for about three years or four oh my gosh I I do little crazy um things and that's why they know when they say where are the roads I'm trying to get this to turn off when they (laughs) say where are the roads um I shut up I'm like really because they know that I'm not a makeup girl Uh uh-huh I know that I don't care anything about it, but they know that I will do it for them. Yep. You've got a rapport. You've got a rapport with your audience. There's that sense of girlfriend time and they're, you know, saying, Hey, try this, do this. They're comfortable enough with you to like make a special request and you trust them enough to put it on, even though you're thinking this isn't really my thing, you know? So that's what it's all about. It's like, whether you're in person or online, it's a relationship and you have, and it starts out with being, you know, consistent. And that's where you get the, the know, like, and trust. They need to get to know you, like you and trust you. And that is what really solidifies them and makes them a customer for life. Do you have a business page, Cindy? I don't have a business page. I've, I've heard different mm-hmm. like feedback on yeses and nos. Why not to? Mm-hmm. So I've never created one. Okay. Um, I was just curious. And then, so to get people in your group, do you send private messages or how, how are you like saying, Hey, come join my group. When I meet new people, I say, Hey, um, I have a VIP <laughs> customer group. If you want to join, I'll send you the link, you know, blah, blah. Of course I have that Google form when I meet new people. Okay. They fill it out. And it says, do you want to be, you know, in my VIP customer group? When they say yes, then I, I don't really, I don't really cold message people uh-huh. I'm about that because I don't like people to do that to me. And I've had a lot of people do that to me, you know, mm-hmm. other direct sellers with other companies. So I wait until I, you know, meet people. And then mm-hmm. every now and then I'll have friend Friday where they can invite people in. And whoever maybe invites the most, or if they invite a friend, then they'll get a little, you know, mm-hmm. something, you know, yep. just not a big deal. Um, so this is something I've learned and I know people probably have a different opinion about it, but that class that, uh, myself and a couple of other ladies that we went through right when the pandemic hit, they had a strategy of how to add all these people to your group. Mm-hmm. Well, I did it, and my group was over 500. <laughs> but what wow. I learned is if somebody's just inviting them in to win a prize, mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. may not be really interested. Right. And they're just in there, and they never pay attention, and they never interact. Mm-hmm. So then I had read some other information. If um, sometimes when it's a smaller number, say like mine's hovering, it you know, I could get up to about 250 through the holiday season, Mm -hmm. about 10% that are going to actually comment and interact. Such a good point. Mm -hmm. But there's people who are always watching Mm -hmm. and you never know when they're going to reach out to you or message you or actually comment where you can then, you know, get back in touch with them. So I think it was last year I sat down and deleted about 200 people. Mm -hmm. And then I went back and I did it again because I was like, these, I've never even, I don't even know these people. Mm -hmm. And so, um, good for you. I I think that's smart because you are not focused on just the number itself. You're focused on the quality of the lead and that, that is everything. So you're so right. And I know exactly, I feel the same when I do something like that at a party and say, okay, whoever gives me the most referrals, they're just like, you know, just writing down any person that comes to their brain, but you know you don't always get a good referral. So that um, is super cool. I wanted to um, reiterate how you use a Google form. That's instead of a customer profile, right? When you meet somebody, you have them do a Google form. 
And for those of you that haven't used that or you're not familiar, it's totally free. And you can just make it look just like the customer profile if you don't know what else to, to put on there. But what's nice is that you can be really specific, like, hey, do you want to be on my mailing list? Do you want to join? Or I would love for you to join or and even to give them information like every Monday at 730, I'm going to be live. So Google Forms are awesome. Like I highly recommend that you get familiar with them if you haven't ever used them and it's pretty don't you think it's pretty easy to learn cindy the google form when i thing? first did you know when i first started using them it was seemed a little bit you know like i, I don't know what i'm doing but i'm right. gonna get and so but it is really simple i have one that are that's just basic for when i meet new people then i have one that is for my beauty package girls mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna do one that for a like mass messages I'm sending out for the weekend to get by the first of everybody that received the holiday lookbook. So I'm going to move a wish list into Google form. So when they okay. get that text, okay. they're going to get that wish list as well. So it'll have people who they're going to be shopping for, maybe things they want on their wish list. And then I'm going to tell, I'm going to send a little something and say, hey, if you submit this form back to me, you're going to be entered to win something. Awesome. I am uh, turning my head because I just thought if I put uh, Boss Babes up on a different screen, I can see if we've got any questions because I know they okay. love to hear hear from you live. <laughs> Let me just look a second. Oh, <clears throat> let me refresh. So yeah, I, I, I struggle figuring out all this tech stuff, but I get there. So you have no excuse, people. <laughs> Whether you know I'm what you're doing or not. Figure out something, anybody can figure out something. Yeah, uh, that's how I feel. One of the things that, um, I forgot what I was going to say, but I'm looking at my list right here so I can, um, I, did, I told y'all about the on-time drawing, the prize. I only do it about 15 to 20 minutes because people are busy and I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, keep them on there 30 or 45 minutes because they might think, well, I'm not coming next week because she kept us 45 minutes. So I try <laughs> to be conscientious of their, you know, time. Mm -hmm. um, I also, I know what I'm doing the next several weeks. And so mm -hmm. next week, and I already told them like Monday night, I'm like, y'all can't, okay, y'all be thinking about this because we're going to get paint next week. And so um, my sister passed away from breast cancer and it was in the month of October. Um, and so when I go on, I'm going to talk about that, which they do know a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. So my sister was born in March on the 5th. So I think I'm going to do five. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But if they know somebody that is going through breast cancer or has survived, they can send me their name and address and I'm going to send them a pink package. Oh, nice. And so this is the pink package. Uh -huh. I went to, now this is stuff I've had some of it for two and three years because I bought it up because I was afraid they would not have it again. So. <laughs> They're going to get a little notebook that says hope this breast cancer. Mm -hmm. I got it at the Dollar Tree, a dollar and a quarter. Cute. All your stuff is so cute. Like you just are so good at that. The renewing gel mask. It's pink. They're going to get a pink sample lip gloss. They're also getting a pink pen to go with their journal. And then I've had these for several years. It's the, um, the breast, the self, the self breast exam cards. Uh huh. That oh, that's, has, that's smart. I'm gonna put that in there, and then there will be a note written while they're getting this package, and then they're going to get a pink. You could do it either way. Everything in this package is pink. Um, this is pink, and it's got little pumpkins. Oh, cute! And it says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then it says if they want to have a pampering appointment, they get $10 in products. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. But then I have this one and it says, you rock. Here's a treat. It's a $5 gift card. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. So, I mean, they could use that. 
and everything I use, like I said, and then I had some little bookmarks left over from last mm -hmm. year and it's beauty hacks and it's sort of pink. So Ooh. I'm going to put those in there. Yeah. So that's just a few dollars and then their little card they're going to get. Mm -hmm. So they'll be able to nominate me. Now, I'm going to say, if you know somebody that, you know, you want to give a little something special to, mm -hmm. here's a little hand lotion and a breast cancer towel. Mm -hmm. And so I have five of these that are available if anybody wants to purchase one. Nice. And then they can do that. That's something I think I learned from Michelle Cunningham like several years ago is it's all in the way you say it to people. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's so why I say, um, I don't know if you'd be interested, but because I don't say, hey, do you need X, Y, Z? I mm -hmm. don't do that. Yeah. Um, and I was going to tell you, I created a graphic. Did I send it to you <laughs> about Monday? I don't think I got that yet. No. So okay. we can, we can put that up in the, in the group. My husband said, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I had a like a uh, squash pumpkin and I held uh -huh. it up and I put eyelashes on it. <laughs> and, um, you know, I said, what it, guess what's back. Yeah. Guess what's yeah. happening. You know, guess what's coming back. And I sent that to, Oh gosh, I don't know how many people. I sent it in Messenger and I was like, hey, Merry Monday, it's back. You. And so, so you're I, fearless. You're like, you're willing to do whatever. <laughs> I just text them. I mean, I just send it to them in text or Messenger. Then I post it in my VIP group as a reminder. And then about a 30 to 45 minutes before I go live, I put a little thing, Merry Monday, 7:30. And so um, you know. They kind of get it. <laughs> Good. That's cool. Hopefully some new ones will be hanging, you know, out too. And then I'm going to do Get Booed, B-O-O-E-D. Oh, that's cute. I haven't heard of that before. And so it's just a little organza bag. I mean, you can use little treat bags from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. I already had these and they're pink. So they're um, beautiful. they get a little card. It says Boo. Mm -hmm. And, um, the samples are, um, it's going to be, let me see what I've got in here. I do a lot of pink samples for the month of October because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So this has like Sheer Illusion, Golden Copper, Appleberry, things that are fallish. Mm -hmm. So they'll get that little goodie bag. They'll be able to, I can do 10 of these. So the first 10 names and addresses I get, get a boo bag. Very cute. You can even fix these up and take them like when you're out and about for October. Mm -hmm. Just say, hey, have you been booed lately? <laughs> 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 and give them a little boo bag. Um, That's cute. I think when you like have something clever and funny, it's easier to talk to people too. Cause it's like, they're, they're not so much looking at you. They're like looking at, oh, that's so cute. You know, uh, mm -hmm little not really a gimmick but it's like you know you just learn little things that gives you more confidence or that people respond to better you know as opposed to just hi you know i'm a mary k beauty consultant can i give you my card you know that's just so dry it's like but when there's something visual and fun or funny right. it's so much better so i gotta tell you um uh, what's happening i don't know why because this is saying that we're we're live streaming but it, we're not showing up right now on boss babe. So everybody's flipping out. Like, where are you? I can't find you. I can't find you. So I apologize. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> okay. It seems like every time I try to use zoom me, so it's a me problem. Uh, there's some issue like this. So I, I apologize, but I did tell them that it's being recorded. So they will okay. see everything. So we don't okay. have any questions right now, but Everybody feel free to ask Cindy some questions. She always comes back and answers them very thoroughly. And I know you've got some, and I know that this is really, you know, primo stuff. I'm even thinking that as we get a little bit closer to your virtual open house, I would love to pick your brain about how you run that as well, okay. because 
everybody does that differently. And I, I've experienced years where it's just like, is anybody out there? <laughs> anybody listening? It's, it's not always an easy thing to do because it's either you, you get an audience or you don't. And when you don't, it's hard to sell something. So mm-hmm. um, you can think about that when you have time to talk to us about that. Okay. Okay. Um, so any other thoughts that you want to share about Mary Monday or strategies or, um, you know, some suggestions, let's just say somebody's brand new and they're like, okay, I like this idea. You know, do you have any advice for them? Well, they can carry the little, um, boot packages around with them. Mm-hmm. And so I saw somebody talking about that, I guess a couple of years ago. And I was, when I was started thinking about my Merry Mondays, I was like, okay, I'm going to change it this year. I'm not going to do a gift per se for the holidays every week. I want to, you know, change it up. So that's why I came up with the get paint for breast mm-hmm. cancer. That's cute. Um, and then I'm adding the boo cards. I am. And I'll tell you this last night, one of the girls that signed up for the mascara club, she actually has a business where she makes, and I don't know if y'all are familiar with these, she does what they call, they're called freshies. And it's little smell good things that you can put in your car. Okay. It's car vents. You can hang them around the rearview mirror. You can put them in your closet, your drawers. Um, and they're so cute. So sometimes she makes little things for me and I use those as giveaways. Mm-hmm. And some, she's like, I'm just going to donate you a breast cancer one for October. Mm-hmm. That, that didn't cost me anything. So is she signing up for the mascara club? Cool. I said, well, hey, um, I said, I know you give your freshies for gifts. I said, but your mom and I couldn't remember if it was her sister or sister-in-law. I said, they bought mint blisses a couple of years ago for Christmas. I said, let them know we have those back. The socks are really cute. If they want some, they need to order them, you know, cause they may sell out cause they're so popular. Mm-hmm. And she said, okay, I'll let them know. And I said, well, Hey, if you need something inexpensive, I said, I've been making up these little mask gifts, which I'm going to feature these in October because of mass. Mm-hmm. A lot of people celebrate Halloween. Mm-hmm. Um, I said, they're $10. I, she bought five. Oh my gosh. Awesome. This is the little mask. Oh my gosh. So cute. I have the hydrating, that hydrating mask. Mm-hmm. In there. There's a card in here on why we should mask. And then I have, and I've had these for about, I don't know, close to two years, the cards. Mm-hmm. Um, it has a charcoal and a renewing gel mask. And there's a paper that I printed myself, how to do the charcoal mask. Mm -hmm. And then I've been buying these little headbands. And so the little card says, bow, B-O-W, botifully wrapped just for you. Oh, so cute. As a little stand on the back. So yeah, I've already sold um, 30 of these. Oh my gosh. Uh, Where where do you get the um, headbands? Um, I've been getting those from Court of Achievers. Okay. Wow. I can't wait to check that place out. I do a lot on Amazon and like you can get such good deals. You buy in bulk, you know, you get 20 of them for like $15 or something. It's, it's They're crazy. Or a little mm-hmm. bit less expensive on Amazon, mm-hmm. but I got that. When you buy them on Amazon, you can't get all the same color. True. Mm-hmm. So these are the pink and the white. Oh, that's the, so cute. The cards. And so, and I got my little snowflake bags. These are little snowflakes. I mm-hmm. got those on Amazon. They're organza. Oh, I mean, very cute. But, yeah. So anyway, that's, that'll be a feature. And like I said, she bought five. She was like, now I can't pay you until, <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll put them back for you. It's all mm-hmm. good. That's so as long awesome. as they let me know, mm-hmm. because I already have all this on hand. Okay. I'm going to make money on these because all this is already paid for. Wow. And That's I got so awesome. these masks when the company, you know, it was buy one, get one. Mm-hmm. We, what was that for six weeks? Mm-hmm. Every time I placed an order, I bought one box and I got a box free. That's awesome. 
So this is costing me $2.50. <laughs> wow. That's so, amazing. Yeah. So, but regular, it would be $5. Time you mm -hmm. add your tax and your headband. I mean, it's going to be eight-ish, nine-ish. So I just rounded it up to 10. Mm -hmm. so that helps me with my bag, my headband and mm -hmm. um, everything. So yep. I think too, um, so like having, having something to show them, even though like you don't have to make 10 of them, you make <laughs> one and show it around and see if there's, if it stirs up interest. Cause sometimes what we think is going to be a big hit isn't, isn't the one and something else is, you know, you never know. And don't send them the product if they haven't paid for it. But like she said, I'll set it aside for you, you know, not a problem. So they're, they're grateful that you're willing to work with them and their budget. But I know some people are so excited to get product into people's hand. They'll just send it. Don't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's just too much risk. You've got to think like a business person. Um, another thing that I'm thinking when she has them packaged, that also gives a sense of urgency because like, if you want that cute one that, you know, says boo on it, she's not going to have that in December. You know, she's got that now because it's close to Halloween. If, if you want something with the snowflake, she's not going to have that next summer, you know? So it also kind of gives them that feeling of, oh, you know, what is that? I, I want that one you know, therefore I'm going to make a purchase now rather than just think, oh yeah, one of these days I'll try that. You know, it, it lights a fire under them. And uh, it's amazing how just how you package it can get mm -hmm. somebody's attention because all of the packages that Cindy has shown, I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know, it's so cute. We don't often get gifts anymore. And so just getting something like that feels like a gift and it's, you know, it takes it to another level. It's, that's just more of like a customer service lesson that make them feel special. Uh, but always be careful of the bottom line. That's why, uh, you can get really caught up in spending like a hundred dollars on stickers and postcards and stuff like that. It's very easy to do. But you've got to figure out, you know, what do I need? What do I know I'm going to use? What's a reasonable amount to spend on it? And as much as possible, find it on sale, find it on clearance, buy it in bulk. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, when people uh, retire from Mary Kay, they might have stuff that they'll just give you. So, you know, look for opportunities to get that kind of stuff as, as cheaply. I also do it at garage sales. You'll find just cute little things and think, you know, I think I could put that in a package. <laughs> I got these little cards uh, uh -huh. for $1.99 from Court of Achievers. I don't know why they were moving them out, but it says enjoy 15% off your next purchase, Dude. which I don't really do a lot of discounts. Mm -hmm. But if it's somebody that bought like, you know, had a large order, mm -hmm. they would get this card or I would use this card in my beauty packages. Okay. And so, cool. and then on the back, it says, thank you for being a great customer. So then you can write a little note. That's nice. Um, it's nice to acknowledge them, like to act, to thank them consistently. Yes. And one of the other things I was going to say is they, Court of Achievers have some like little wraps that you can do on these. Um, Mass, hydrate or, or, uh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. um, I only, I only bought 40 because I knew I was going to sell a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. So when I was talking to her last night and they are pink, just like the headband, mm -hmm. it has the instructions so on it. It wraps around it and it has snowflakes, which goes with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So when I was talking to her last night, I said, hey, I have some little wraps coming in. I only have 40 and I'm not going to order any more. Mm -hmm. So if you want those, like you'll need to tell me now. I want five creates a sense of urgency. It's that's yeah. a really important thing. If they feel like they can get it anytime, there's no reason to get it today. So you want there to be a sense of urgency. So that's, that's really, really cool. Um, <laughs> again, as you were talking, I was, I need to write things down the second it comes. Into my brain. <laughs> <laughs> we're having one of those days. I mean, um, one of those weeks. Oh my gosh. But, um, and the other thing I'm going to uh -huh. do, is um and I heard somebody call it this I I can't remember what I called it last year but I'm going to use their little term um mm -hmm. last year I told them I said hey you know like when you're getting together 
maybe for football games or people get together for the, you know, like big football fans in the South. Mm -hmm. It's the Iron Bowl, the weekend after Thanksgiving, or you're going to a chili cook-off or you're just having a bonfire at somebody's house or you're going to Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner. What about those little gifts that you need to take to the person that's hosting? Well, I heard yes. somebody talking the other day and they called it the oops gift. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> That's great. So I true. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to feature some of those mm -hmm. one week. Yeah. Oops gifts. That's yep. all it's going to be. And everything yep. will be $20. Nice. And so, yeah. That's important too. As I, I know sometimes we see these beautiful, elaborate, gift baskets that have like several products and all these other things and think that we're going to sell them, but not everybody wants to spend like $85 on mm -hmm. a gift. You know, they're looking for things that are lower price points, like for teachers and, and hostesses and stuff like that. And another thing I was thinking, this is the one that I almost lost, um, is that I have fallen into the trap of, of buying a huge variety of things, like a whole bunch of different trays and different cello bags and different things, thinking that the variety, you know, I needed this huge, huge variety in order to appeal to people. But remember, every time a, a new individual is seeing what you're offering, they're seeing it all for the first time. So if you even just have three to five really great gift ideas and just focus on buying the packaging and supplies that you need for that before you spend, you know, tons of money on other stuff. I keep coming back to that because I know for a fact that my team and lots of other people during the holidays, you invest a lot of money planning on or hoping that you're going to have a lot of sales. And I hope you do too, but it's, it's better to get a feel for what is actually selling, like what is actually popular and not to invest a ton of money on the front end, but to, you know, put a few things together, kind of see, you know, see if people are responding well, you know, buy a few more of those rather than, you know, this is just my opinion, but I, I just think, you know, we need to be careful. If you want to make a profit, you have to be careful how much you're putting out there, you know, in the first place. Um, well, I I, I'm getting like tons of messages. People are like so upset that they can't find us. I'm so sorry, you guys. Ah, I don't know what's wrong. I really don't. It's going to be so funny if it's just because I'm so tired and like later I'm like, oh, I forgot to push that button. <laughs> but I Which is probably, probably it. Oh my gosh. Coat, Michelle, that I keep mm -hmm. in my workroom. Okay. And it has all my Christmas stuff in it. Mm hmm. And so like last year, one of the places I buy stickers, they had a really good sale. I think it was Black Friday weekend. Mm -hmm. And so I picked a lot of the ones that I knew I would use. So I already have those. So what I did this time is I, I bought like five boxes, mm -hmm. like from Peter's Packaging. Okay. A ton of things. Peter's so, packaging. Okay. Uh, Peter's packaging. <laughs> and I bought like five of this particular thing and five of another. And then I'm going to use those to make those my gift ideas that I have. Mm -hmm. And so um, I ordered 20 mint bliss right off the bat because I knew I was going to sell them. So I have, I've already sold all of those. Plus yesterday when I went to deliver an order, some of these girls are carrying like a basket around. They call it their baby basket. Well, I don't have a basket small enough to carry a baby and all the stuff. So several years ago, I guess it was a seminar prize. They had a cute pink tote bag and it's vinyl mm -hmm. and it says Mary Kay. So I was like, I think I can put my, I want a wristlet last year. It's hot pink. Mm -hmm. So I keep my keys in that with my little Mary Kay wallet that I won whatever month star prize. Mm -hmm. So I took that down in that. I took one mint bliss mm -hmm. and I took the new body spritzer and the hand look, the body lotion. So when I go in to deliver the order, I take in my pink bag and I said, Hey, I brought my baby bag today with me. And she was like, oh, what? So 
So she's paying me. She goes, okay, let me write this check. And I said, okay. So she wrote her check and I said, well, you bought a couple of gifts from me last year. So I thought you might need something this year. Mm -hmm. So I took out my little mint bliss and I said, here's the mint bliss, blah, blah, blah. I said, you know, I've already, I said, I had an order for 20 of these last week. And I said, I probably already sold over 30, probably over 35. She ordered eight. Wow. And so then I took out the body lotion and the spritzer. I said, this is going to be really big. I said, that's a little more. It's $30, but she's a widow. I said, but I did want you to smell the lotion because it comes in a body wash if mm -hmm. you didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So I take out the lotion. I put a little bitty, just small amount on her hand. She rubs it in. Oh gosh, I do like that. And so when I'm leaving, she goes, I really might need some more gifts. And I said, you just let me know. Oh my and gosh. I'll get you fixed up. So, so cool. I, I, I can't pay you till next month. And I said, it's okay. I'll, I've got those mint bliss. I'll put them back for you. So, mm -hmm. because the people that order those and want them for gifts, if they don't get them like in the next few weeks, they're going to sell out, I think, mm -hmm. because the yeah. socks are so cute. And polka dots. Yeah. They're so yeah. cute. So, I mean, you can give them an option. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, cause I was like, I'm going to do 20 and I sold them in two days. Oh my gosh. Like, okay. That's fantastic. Here's a bit bliss, you know, and people mm -hmm. order every year. And just like the yep, little, I have that too, that they order it. They look forward to it and they get it consistently. Mm -hmm. So I have, um, I have five of the um, little, uh, body care sets mm -hmm. and one of my customers she knows that I love pink flamingos she gave me a roll of wrapping paper last year so I'm gonna wrap those with a little like beach theme mm -hmm. and pink flamingo with greens and pink or mm -hmm. crisp um you know what if I don't sell them I'll put them up and try it again for and like most of the stuff I buy I can use it for valentine's Mm -hmm. or even you know spring I do have like Christmas stickers but I if I whatever I don't use I just put in my tote and then mm -hmm. I get that out and I start looking like you know like in July I got it out and I was looking okay what am I gonna need what but I keep I keep um tool mm -hmm. and ribbon I, I keep all that stuff because I wrap stuff for people all the time and so ribbon, cello bags, the little organza bags. It's like you kind of get an idea of the variety of things that you need. And you have like a little craft type thing. Um, so I, now I, I've been writing stuff down. Have you noticed? Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, keep in mind that not everybody has your budget. Not everybody has your budget limitations. So like you might feel like, what she ordered eight of those, you know, body lotions or whatever, eight of those mint bliss, but don't limit what you think your customer will buy based on, well, I would only buy one. You know what I mean? It's like, you've got to think big. There are a lot of people out there that are spending a lot of money on Christmas and they are willing and they're appreciative when you come along and say, Hey, here's an idea. And, you know, I can drop it off to you at your work or, or whatever. Um, so, you know, think big as far as that goes. Also, are you hearing that, that she's approaching people, you know, and I know we don't all have a lot of confidence or we don't have that personality, you know, the, the sanguine personality or whatever it's called, but if you've chosen to do sales, you know, sometimes you have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And she's giving you so many tools because if you've got something visual, something exciting, something that, you know, is buy it now, it's now or never, you've got reasons to talk to people. And so, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. And new people have to always be coming into your business. There's just no getting around it. So you've got to always be looking for opportunities to get, you know, fresh bl blood, so to speak. Um, and then, uh, okay, let's see. Three let me just, yeah, okay, let me go. <laughs> um, like on the mint bliss, I, mm -hmm. when I sent my first 
like Christmas order. I bought 20 of those. Okay. Then I bought five of the body sets. I bought five of the body washes and I bought five of the men's. Okay. And so that's normally I wouldn't do that because mm -hmm. but it's holidays. Mm -hmm. And then um, a couple of different times I have places that I go. I've got two new places that I'm going this year and I will set my stuff up or I will take it in on their lunch break and I will show them. Yep. And they can either come out to my car, they can buy it right out of the back of the car, mm -hmm. or they can tell me what they want and I'll get it for them. So that's why I've done like five, five, and five. Now, the new liquid eyeshadows, I bought one of each because mm -hmm. I'm an eyeshadow person, but I have those if somebody wants them. Mm -hmm. I yep. will sell those to them. Um, that's so important. I've got to interrupt you. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that you get to know your people. Like mm -hmm. I might sell one men's item at Christmas time and I don't even do that every Christmas. So I don't buy the men's stuff. She bought five of them. So you've got to be careful when you're new, you can't assume, you know, that you need to buy equal amounts of everything across the board. Like I said, you've got to kind of see what is going to be popular. I did the same thing with the eye stuff. They're beautiful. They're cool. They're really unique, but not a lot of people wear sparkle eyeshadow, you know, so you've got to be practical too. Right. Um, okay. Let's see. I've had, I've got so many things and I, we were really, we've already done an hour, but okay. I think it'd be a really good idea. If anybody that has a place that you buy supplies that are great for direct sales or Mary Kay in particular, if you would post that, because like how she's just mentioning, you know, Pete's packaging and these different things. And I'm like, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I've even Googled, you know, uh, Mary Kay vendors or direct sales, beauty vendors, and nothing comes up. So um, like one that I use a lot is pink printing. I also use my girlfriend's house. Uh, pink bubble is something else that that's a subscription service. So if, uh, if you all have something that you could tell us about, you know, that would be great. I'll create like a guide and put all of the different um, vendors there. Um, all right. I'm almost done. My first, uh, year, uh, pardon? My, my first year, I sold $500 for Christmas, mm -hmm. which is and, a lot of people would think that's fantastic, but I know yeah. now you sell a lot more than that. <laughs> but then when I started like, you know, in some of these Mary Kay groups, I started seeing what some of these people were doing. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I can do I, that. And so then the next year it went up a little bit mm -hmm. and then the last two years has been really good. And I do have a lot of people ask me this question. And I, I mean, I kind of wanted to say it. Um, the last two years that I've made Queens Court, mm -hmm. I've had people ask me, what did you do by all that product yourself? No, because right. I, um, I don't have money to do that. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of times when I have extra, I leave it in my pro pay. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm able to do that. And then now we have that option with Klarna where if you want to buy like how I did the 20, the five and the five, mm -hmm. I set it up on that. And so I'm selling it and that's how I'm making my payment. I mean, it's under a hundred dollars. So you can, you can do that. But I know people that do thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. So a lot of times when I make a little extra, I just leave it in my pro pay. And then when I want to order extra things, that's what I do. I have mm -hmm. a lot of out of town customers, so I don't keep a lot uh, on hand. I keep the basics like skin. You use customer delivery service a lot, don't you? Yes, I use mm -hmm. it a lot. Like last night, I just had a lady that had a virtual event over the weekend and she had ordered four mint blisses and then she had a couple of other orders. So it was ended up being six orders together, five or six. I packaged them all. I shipped them to the hostess because she goes to church with the part, one of the people mm -hmm. and that's what she was going to see. So that saved them five ninety five. Mm -hmm. It saved me having to ship three different packages. So to ship all of that was $10. Mm -hmm. 
So awesome. they, they're, they're half in the, you know, they're half in $5 and $5. So, mm-hmm. um, I mean, you kind of have to think along those lines. Mm-hmm. And so I do, when I go on Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that's I'll, a great place to go. I mm-hmm. look on the clearance. Mm-hmm. I, had some, <laughs> I had to buy some tool and some ribbon. And so I've ordered that. I've ordered my stuff from Peter's Packaging. I got just a few things from them because I wanted to, I love the boxes. It's real mm-hmm. easy. You put it in there and put your little ribbon on it and you're good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I got some stuff from um, the Court of Achievers. I, I got a couple of new things that they had. So I have all that coming in. And so that'll be it for me. Mm-hmm. Like that's about a hundred to $150 that I spent on some extra little goodies. Mm-hmm. And, so and you know, I, you're going to make that back. So it's like, you're confident yeah. in doing that. And I won't buy anything else mm-hmm. until, but you know, like the men's I've already sold one. Mm-hmm. Um, I gave my husband one. I said, if you don't use it, I can't smell it. And I don't know what to tell people. It right. Smells good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like all the mint blisses. I've already sold all of those. Um, the, everybody likes the body sets. So if I don't sell those right now, I will probably sell those at my open house because they've not seen packaging yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be cute. Another customer of mine last year, she does sublimation. Y'all know what that is on Mm. (laughs) t-shirts. Okay. (laughs) We we did a little swap. Mm -hmm. She made me some hand towels and they have the Grinch on them Mm -hmm. so I'm getting some satin hands unscented lotions wrapping those up in those Grinch towels and Court of Achievers had some little Grinch cards so I'll I'll have about four or five of those Mm -hmm. and I and two of them I've already sold they're already gifts nice so yeah so I mean it's like what you're saying you don't have to go I, I mean I was listening to a lady the other day and I was kind of freaked out about it because I was like I can't even imagine. She was talking about her open house. She has every product that we have. Oh, wow. At her open house. And of course, I mean, I'm sure she's been in a long time. So she probably does thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Um, But they can buy it that day. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm thinking, I just kind of focus on. Right. You know, stuff. Yeah, um, because sometimes some point, it too much is too much. It's like their their brain, you know, overload, and then they're not seeing the the special things that you've you know put together. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of the same. I try to focus on just some like, gift ideas, and they know they can get their other stuff. You know, it's like they usually do stack up on their usual stuff, and I just go in my office and get it. Um, I wanted to uh, reiterate. Also, I think I've used that word twice. Uh, that when you have a friend that has like her own business, you know, I have a friend that makes earrings. A lot of times you can work something out where like, she'll give me a really great deal. And then I'll include those earrings in different packages or prizes. Mm -hmm. And so that she's, you know, I'm promoting her business and she's giving me a good deal. You know what I mean? Like you can work Mm -hmm. that out a lot of times. So that's a really good thing. And then that made me remember how you offer jewelry to people during your holiday open house. So I was going to ask you to talk about that for a quick second, and then we've got to wrap it up. Okay. (laughs) I'm not a jewelry person. I mean, I just, I'm, I don't care anything about it. I've got my little bracelet on today, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I do when we have star prizes I mean not star well when you make your quota every month you know you Mm -hmm. get your jewelry or whatever the thing is so I of course I open it and look at it and then I have a little um little band like a little tote and I put all of those in it Mm -hmm. and so two years ago I think it was or maybe it was my second year I thought what am I going to do with all this stuff so when I was talking about my virtual open house I mentioned um, hey, you're going to get an extra surprise if you spend blah, blah. So I fixed all the little bags of jewelry. I leave them in the little bags that we get from Mary Kay. Oh, that's nice. And then I took those in their packages when they, you know, place their orders and go to deliver or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And 
they loved it. Oh yeah, that's, that's good quality jewelry. It really is. It's a very whether nice. Whether they wear it or not, I have no idea. Right, exactly. But, they can re-gift um, it. You know, if it's not their style, they can, you know, give mm-hmm. it to somebody else, right? So I've done that every year since then. So mm-hmm. I just put them in a tote and they know that's a treat. That mm-hmm. they're And you know what? That doesn't cost me anything. That's right. That's right. You got to be thinking like that. Look for those opportunities where, you know, you can get things at a garage sale, the Dollar Tree, you know, Amazon, where you use prizes that you got that maybe aren't really your style. Definitely. All right. We have to wrap it up. Okay. (laughs) I hate it. Um, But we will come back and talk more about her open house because I I know that everybody's going to want to know about that. Um, And make sure that you post your questions uh she will come back and answer them we appreciate your patience your tolerance i'm so sorry uh and i will try to learn how to do this (laughs) (laughs) i have from now till then to to learn how to switch oh my gosh oh my god (laughs) so anyway so thanks everybody so much uh do you have any parting words cindy that you would like to share i just you know if they will listen to there's a lot of holiday information out there right now Mm -hmm. and I've listened to a lot you can't do what everybody else is doing but like the other night I was listening to somebody one sentence the girl said popped out at me and I was like I'm writing that down Mm -hmm. and that's going to be in my text that I send out this weekend to my people Mm -hmm. and so um like I heard somebody else talking about uh, their open house and something that they do yearly. And I was like, oh gosh, that's a good idea. I might start doing that. Mm -hmm. And it's not anything extra. Like I added, you would just change up the way you're packaging their gifts when they come pick them up. Or, you know, she does theme bags, Mm -hmm. like shopping bags and these little bags from girlfriend's house. Yep. Mm -hmm. She does a theme. Cute. And so I was like, I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And so talking like you, about- you tuck away the ideas that mm-hmm. resonate with you, but you choose not to be overwhelmed by right. every single idea you hear. Because yeah, from now till Christmas, we are going to hear so many different ways to package stuff and, and offer things and do things. And you, you just have to be confident enough that you can make, you can decide what's right for you and it's going to be okay. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. You can't, <laughs> you know, we can't possibly do everything somebody, everybody's doing. Somebody mm-hmm. that has a $15,000 Christmas, if you're only having a 1,000, mm-hmm. you can't do what they do. That's right. And so That's right. I, I know from, you know, even many years ago, I was in another direct sale. You can set up all day and spin your wheels and have two people show up. Mm-hmm. So then when the pandemic hit, I was like, I think I, I saw where somebody was doing a virtual open house. I was like, I think I can do that. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just going to do it. And I set it up in my living room in front of my piano. Well, it's my work room. Actually, the piano's in there. Did a backdrop behind me. And I put all the gifts on the piano. And I had a big, there was a TV in there where I could play music. And I pulled up a Christmas. Um, thing on youtube Mm -hmm. and played it in the background (laughs) nice that's great i sat there and did my you know stuff and showed them gifts and you know all of that so um i love it i love that idea and you just try to make it better each time you know like try to think of something how it didn't work Mm -hmm. and then last year i thought it was going to be i didn't think i was going to sell anything i mean it was just it was bad (laughs) So I was like about to cry that night because I was like, nobody was on here. What am I going to do? Well, I just kind of start messaging people. And then by Saturday, they were all kind of placing their orders. And so it ended up being about $2,200 online. Nice. I mean, that worked, you know, it worked out, but you kind of start sweating because you're like, oh, I know. Yeah. And so that's another thing to tuck away is that you sometimes you have to pursue the sale, but even then you don't have to be spammy about it. It's like you're being a professional. If somebody didn't have the opportunity to watch it, but you know, they would like it and you remind them that the replay is available or you, you follow up with somebody that said, you know, I'm going to need to get my teacher gifts. You follow up and say, Hey, you know, I wanted to follow up on that. Be a professional. Okay. That's not spammy. That is being a businesswoman. So, all right, 
we have to okay. be done. <laughs> it's hard for both of us. <laughs> All right. So thanks everybody so much. And we will definitely come back with some virtual open house ideas. I really need to hear it too, because I, I want to do more virtually this year as well. So thank you, Cindy, so okay. much. As usual, you are just like a, a vat of knowledge and it's <laughs> awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye. Sound good. All Bye. right. Bye.